I miss y'all so much. Oh my God, I have a flyaway. I miss y'all so, so, so much. Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Not only is today Sunday and this mimosa is a makeup, I do have a mimosa in one of my favorite cups from my friend Liz. It is also purchased or passed today. Y'all, so when I was in Puerto Rico, I had the Sydney Grace and Merit video and my BYOP video to edit and upload. And I had free Wi-Fi, but like the Wi-Fi wasn't letting me be great. It was like staying on one like forever. So those two videos I uploaded yesterday. So I was like, we're gonna do purchase or pass for today because I didn't have a chance. Um, today's Saturday, I got back last night. I am gonna do a whole reflections video with uh, some footage and like a vlog about our whole trip, but it is one of the best things I decided to do with the boys, so I cannot wait. That'll be part of Christmas, y'all, Christmas. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about these new makeup releases. If that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So this break from not filming and not like having my regular conversations with you guys, it just really shows me and just reinforces because I already know just how important you all are to me and how important this is to me. So I'm just like really giddy right now because I'm happy to be sitting in front of the camera, especially because this is going to be a premiere and we're talking about the new makeup releases. So but not having the Wi-Fi or the, the great Wi-Fi really forced me to slow down and step away, which was really great like for my mental health and for bonding time with the boys. It was just such a great experience. But like I said, we will do a whole video on that because it's just so much. I have so much to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into uh, the makeup releases. And I also want to do a bit of a check in about Black Friday and all of these crazy sales. As we talked about before, the sales have been going on pretty much for the entire month of November. And then, you know, some sales did start on Black Friday. So I did wanna kinda talk with you all about, did you buy anything? Did you totally skip out? You know, I really had it in my mind that I was going to be getting some Terra Moons shadows and some uh, Cleona. And then when I looked at the sales, I just felt like they weren't that great for those two brands. And those were really the only ones. I also talked about Davina, but Davina decided not to do any Black Friday sales. So I didn't get anything from them. I will talk about it in the releases, but I did order the Crock palette from Clarity Cosmetics. I did mention that one a couple of weeks back. I thought that was a really great color story, but, but y'all know Black Friday sales are just everywhere. So I did buy a couple pieces from the brand Farm Re they're one of my favorite brands and I found out about that brand because they do collabs with Adidas which is another one of my favorite brands actually coincidentally the shirt that I have on is an Adidas shirt and I believe this is a collab with Farm Rio just looking at the print but their clothing is just so beautiful and beautifully expensive but this is the first time I've ever seen them do a 50% off sale like off the entire site even clearance so I did purchase a couple of things from there I am really really excited I can't ever get a lot at one time but that's okay because the things that I do get I keep for a long time like this shirt for example so I did buy something from Farm Rio and I'm also looking at Victoria Beckham only because she only does 20% off, but it doesn't happen often, but I haven't pushed the button on anything. So right now it's just the Clarity palette. So I do feel proud. Again, let me know uh, if you purchased anything. Now we'll get into the makeup releases. Of course, as always, we're gonna be starting with Makeup Release Radar Official. So let's get that going. You have to show mom, have to show mom what? <laughs> 
Yes. Oh my God, bloody mouth. Okay, let's see, let's see. We have a tooth, let me see. Oh my gosh, Marky, another molar and a bloody mouth. Say hi to everybody. Hi. All right, let me uh, assist him and I'll be back and we'll do the release. So Marky, tell me what you were doing. You were upstairs, room, and you were in your room, and then what happened? I put my teeth. You pulled it out? Yeah. Did it hurt? No. Oh my gosh. It just, just came right out, huh? Yes. And then, so what are we gonna do tonight with your tooth? What do you need to do with it? Put it in the pillow. Mm, put it under your pillow? Yes. And hopefully, who's gonna come get it? Tooth fairy. Mm. What do you think, what do you want the tooth fairy to give you? Money. How much? Uh, $20. Oh, wait a minute, okay. Um, I... That's a lot of money. $50. 20, 15? $50. 50. No, $5. Five? Five is reasonable. You, when I was, you know, when I was a kid... What dollar? When I was younger, guess how much I got when I lost my teeth? $5. Nope. $20. Nope. $10. Nope, less. No less. Less than that. What that said? One thousand. I only got twenty-five cents. Twenty-five cents. A quarter. Quarter. Yeah. Are you gonna now? If the tooth fairy doesn't take your teeth and gives you money, are you gonna keep your teeth? No. Yes. You gonna keep it? You know, I have all my baby teeth. I still have them. I won't show that though, because that might be too much for people. It might make people be like, "Ew, I can't believe you have them." But I have all my baby teeth. All right, Marky. Well, did your mouth feel okay? Yes. Your smile is gorgeous as usual. Yes. It looks great. You look very handsome. And um, I'm gonna finish this and I'm letting your tooth dry and we'll put it under your pillow, okay? Oh yeah. All right, what you about to go do now? Go put my iPad. All right, give me a high five, man. Thank you. I am proud. Wow. Big boy, a molar. Hey, Marky, I love you. I love her too. Can you close the door? Thank you so much, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Yo, Marky. <laughs> Mm. I'm telling you the history, the history. All right, let's get into these new makeup releases. I mean, we've got something to celebrate now. Marky's lost yet another tooth, and we are gonna get on here. So let's see. All right, let's scroll on down. Oh, let me tell y'all what I have on my face, because I just tried to throw something together, because I didn't have any makeup on. I was raking some leaves. I have on the Dior Concealer and the Merit Blush Balm that I just did the video on, Velvet Sorcery, and then the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in Mink. So pretty, just, you know what? I could do this eyeshadow. I could definitely just do looks like this. I have on the Rubber Lash Mascara from It's My Beauty. And then in the corner, I have uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Pop Shot in Diamond Eyes. I think that's what it's called. All right, let's get to it so I'm not holding y'all all day. Or maybe I want to. All right, let's see. Not sure if I talked about this last week because now I, I can't remember. But the MAC Cosmetics and Whitney Houston collection. So, if this palette is the same format as the Wakanda Forever palette, I'm going to get this. I vaguely remember saying this last week, or I might have been saying it in a dream or to myself. But I am definitely going to get this palette. I didn't think too much of it, but when I saw it swatched, which... Where did I see swatches? Let me see if I can find some swatches. There it is. Okay, so trim move. This, the Wakanda palette is not an everyday palette for me, but this one could be. Now I do feel like I did talk about this. Oh, I can't remember. I really, really like this and I, I'm into it. As far as the rest of the collection, I'm not really, you know, over the moon about it. I think it's fine. Maybe a lipstick. I don't know. The matte lipsticks are okay, but I don't know if I'm gonna get anything else from the collection. Could do a blush possibly, but the palette for sure is is really pretty. So we'll keep an eye out for the release of that collection. So Laura Lee Los Angeles has her Whimsical Nudes collection. Now this is gonna be an easy pass. I have not seen any reviews this week at all. 
So I'm just not really sure, or last week, I'm just not sure about her products or how they perform or the quality, but it's not really something that I'm interested in trying. Although the palette is cute, but I haven't really looked into her brand at all and I'm not too interested in, in trying it. So August Girl, Billie Eilish, has her number two fragrance that is out. And it says that this has, mm, the freshness of Italian bergamot and apple blossom, and then it flows into a woody, earthy spiciness of papyrus and black pepper with a contrast of wild, wet poppy flowers. A base of woody Palo Santo and ebony are expertly wrapped in a metallic, nuanced veil of skin musk. Ah. Uh I have to smell this. Now, the original fragrance smells like a vanilla cupcake, which I really like. This one sounds a bit complicated, so I'm not sure. I have the original fragrance in the travel size, which I really like. So I would love to smell this, but right now it is a pass. Oh, I did email Cosmic Brushes about my palette because I didn't put my address on the palette, well, the full address, which is why I didn't receive it. I did not reorder this <laughs> at the restock because I don't know if I really want it anymore, to be honest with you. And it is $25, but once you add all the shipping, I mean, it becomes more than that. So I don't know if this is something I really want, but when I did send the email, it bounced back. So maybe I mistyped, I don't know what's going on, but the bottom line is it might not be meant for me to have this palette and that's okay. All right, we talked about Artist Couture, so I'm gonna keep moving on. And I'm not going over all of these sales. You know why? Because we just don't need to be tempted with all of this. And to be honest, a lot of these sales aren't really all that. That's how I feel. The Pat McGrath sale is awesome and she does have a bunch of $12 lipsticks or lip products and the Fetish Eyes Mascara is $12, which is pretty good. It's not something that I'm gonna partake in, but if you are interested in trying Pat McGrath lip products and you have it, I think that the sale is great, especially when you can get up to 40% off. I was considering a sweatshirt, the hoodie, they don't have my size, skipped on that. And then with the essence, I really do like the essence from the samples that I've tried, but I have enough skincare. I got the uh, Kiehl's Advent Calendar, which I really love the products in that. I don't need the essence. I definitely was tempted, but the more I thought about it, I realized like you really do not need anything from Mama Pat, although I love Mama Pat. And again, we see a lot of sales here. Oh, the other one that almost caught me was Glam like the Scooby-Doo palettes. And then I, I really thought about it and I'm like, I'm not gonna wear those Scooby-Doo palettes. Like, let's just be honest here. I am tempted because they are inexpensive and they look really nice, but I'm not gonna wear those Scooby-Doo palettes. So I did not purchase them. I'm really proud because I did have them in my cart, but yeah, it's a no. Let's see what else we've got. Vicky's got a new lip shade out. I really like these moisturizing color bombs. I have three of them now, and this is really pretty. I'm not sure how much I would wear this color. It is called Alter Ego, I believe, but she does have the 20% off, and I'm tempted for that one because she doesn't have sales often, and I really do like her products, but right now, I just have a cart. Looks like we have another restock for House of L. So I remember at one point they were at the final restock, but there must be a demand for this palette, which is very, very beautiful. I'm not sure what Adept is doing for Black Friday. I tried to stay away from like really looking and searching out the deals because I, I do get easily tempted, but the House of L palette is, is really great. So this launch was a mess and I did try it myself even though I did not order this palette. This is the Haunted Pumpkin palette. When I did put this in my cart, when I went to check out, it said it did not ship to my location. So I think that Makeup Release Radar official, I think she got her palette by putting something else in her cart and then it will let her check out. But if you just put the palette in your cart, you could not check out. I'm not sure if or when it got fixed, but I, I do think this palette is cute. And it's funny because I was saying last week, I haven't seen anything from Give Me Glow, but I forgot that they talked about this palette and that it was gonna be available on Black Friday. And I'm sure it did sell really well, but I'm kind of past like the whole 
Halloween pumpkin phase, even though this is a palette, you can wear all year round. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this. It looks really nice. I already mentioned that I purchased the Croc palette from Clarity Cosmetics. I just couldn't resist this color story. They do not have my favorite matte formula, but I think I will be able to go ahead and deal with these mattes for the shimmers and this whole earthy color story. I really like it a lot. I hope that the palette lives up to the swatches. I really like the choice of mattes in this palette. I do have a few palettes from Clarity Cosmetics, but I've only used one, and the one that I used, I sold, which was the Soma Amazing palette. I really did not care for those mattes. I'm not sure if they're different in the Cobra palette or the Bloom palette, which are the other two that I have, but I will say that they're darker, and I think they're gonna show up a lot better than the pastel mattes from the Soma Amazing palette. And I have the same feeling about the Croc palette. So really, really excited to try this one out and create some looks. Here's another release that I passed on that uh, I just don't know how I feel about it. Menagerie had been sneak peeking the Paws and Claws collection for some time. And in my heart of hearts, I still want to purchase this. It's a bit all over the place. I'm not really sure what the color story has to do with the animal. Aside from the packaging on the palette, I, I don't know. Now, I love Menagerie. I love their shimmers. They are really opaque and they, they're almost black based and that's what I really like about it and I feel like in a way I'm almost talking myself into it. If I had to choose one of these palettes, it would be the Claws palette, which is ironic because I am a dog lover. I have to like really think about the looks that I would do with the Paws palette. The Claws one, those looks are a little easier for me to come up with in my mind, but the, the Paws palette is, both of them are a little bit disjointed. I will say I like the Claws palette, I do. I'll be thinking, on on that but look at those shimmers they're so deep and rich and that's what i really love about menagerie now currently i have two palettes from menagerie i have the indigo ink and the sugar glider i think those are the only two that i have but i really enjoy them so oh, what a predicament right now to know it's a maybe for the claws, but I don't know. Like that green in there in the claws palette just, I don't know, I have to think about it. But thinking about it so much makes me feel like it's a no. Hi. Hey, no one's seen you in a week. Why? Because we've been away. Excuse me? Excuse me? Hold on, Dr. Ash just sent me something. Hold on, I'm gonna let you say hi, give me a second. This is goes with makeup releases, so let me just see. So, Unearthly Cosmetics has decided to shut down orders for the remainder of the year. To catch up on shipping, I am currently looking to hire someone for fulfillment assistance. So, uh, in Puerto Rico, August has decided he likes eros con pollo. Your, your, the food that you have on the table. Polio. When I'm done filming, I can get you something additional, but it's gonna be something very simple. Oh, by the way, Marky lost a tooth. What? Yeah. Today? Like just now he lost a tooth. You can go ask him. He'll probably be really excited to show you. A big tooth as well. Cause we're not gonna be wasting food. Uh, so they're gonna uh, put all their focus into fulfilling their orders, but that's really sad because y'all know how I feel about Unearthly and mm, their products are so good. That's a shame. Only because it's Christmas, you know what I mean? Like and people may be ordering things, but yeah. Unearthly Cosmetics is a super small business. So I can imagine that if you're shipping that stuff out yourself, it can be a lot and I'm not in the situation to really judge. So I just wanted to share that because that just came through. All right, I clicked on She Glam, but we're, we're, we're gonna move on. Uh, let's see, we'll talk about Glam Light, we'll talk about Melt. Oh, can we talk about Gloss Gods for a second? Because I don't think I've heard of Gloss Gods, or maybe I have, 
<coughs> oh, it's drying. Mm -mm. Where, where it's in it? the bathroom drying. Where? And I don't want you to touch your it. Your bathroom where it's drying. It, on the, do you need this bathroom? No. Oh, in this bathroom. Yeah, but can you, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm uh -uh. just gonna look. Okay. So Gloss Gods, I was just on their site because this palette really caught my eye. This smoke and mirrors palette. Look in the wind. Look in the windowsill. I'm gonna have to find this. He Hold lost on. it today. He lost it just I now. Didn't do it. He said he pulled it out. Lucky's brave. He's brave. I agree. Okay, here we go. Here it is from Gloss Gods. I think this palette is so pretty. Like I'm just looking at the swatches, and then I saw this one here, which is called the New Neutrals palette. This one right here, it almost had me the other day. It really did. But I just don't need this palette. But look at it. It is so pretty. Let me know if you know about Gloss Gods, about their eyeshadow formula. Is it the same as all of the other indie eyeshadow formulas that we see? I'm just not sure. But I thought this one and Smoke and Mirrors were really pretty palettes. But they are available. It isn't available, no. I am trying to keep myself together. Now we have from Trixie Cosmetics, the Sweet Treats collection. Uh, this is an easy, easy, easy no for me. I just haven't been going for the cutesy, um, you know, collections. Cleona, I pass on that as well. And I really love these bundles, but the problem with the bundles, one, they're $150 and two, I have shades in, I think, both of the bundles. So I really like the one on the left, uh, but I, I know I have a couple of these. So, you know, it's a pass. Now Queen Cosmetics has the Enchanted Forest collection. I don't know if there's another post of this, but this is a no. I mean, it's okay, but it really doesn't capture me. Ooh, Mariah. So what does Find Your Happy Place? They've got some bath products. They are collaborating with my girl Mariah for some holiday gift sets. This is no. I love Mariah though, I'm a lamb. NBA Cosmetic, really coming on this year towards the end of the year with palettes. This is the Cult of Luna eyeshadow palette. This is just not something that I need or want. So this is a no as well. We are doing good until we get here. Now Lethal Cosmetics, I have two palettes from them. I have the Night Flower or Moonflower palette, which is like a purple and blue palette, which I really did like, but I haven't gone back to use it just because of the color story, but it was really beautiful. I also have the Berlin palette, but that just wasn't really my color story. These, however, are really pretty. So we have the Metamorphosis palette and the Evergreen palette. I think they are both really beautiful. I I think there's another post. Let's see, here it is. So I believe this palette we're looking at now is Metamorphosis. This is really pretty. I have to admit that it is. But this one right here, I love this palette. This color story is great, it's warm, very earthy, right up my alley. And I went to look for this on Camera Ready Cosmetics and didn't see it. It looks like they also have some brushes here and a palette but I really like this palette right here. I think this is actually the Metamorphosis palette. So the more warm toned palette is Metamorphosis and then this one is Evergreen, which makes sense. I really would still consider these two palettes, but I have not made a decision at this time. They're really unique color stories and I, I like them. I like them a lot. <sighs> I'm not gonna do the you need to leave because I like strawberry shortcake. And as soon as I saw the sneak peek or the teaser from Glam Light, I knew it was gonna be strawberry shortcake. This whole collection is gonna be a pass. I just don't need anything like this. But I will say how much I appreciate Glam Light getting away from the food themed and shaped packaging. I really enjoy that. I don't think I'm used to Glam Light having the round pans though. I don't like when brands go from square pans to circle pans. I've seen Menagerie do it. I've seen Melt do it. Yeah. You can go from circle to square. Unearthly went from circle to square. I'm good with that. Square to circle, I don't like it. So this is a no, not for that reason, but it's just not a color story that I need. It's really, really pink. 
And if I want to do a look like this, I do have my strawberry milkshake palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. If I get the urge, I don't think I will. And if you like strawberry shortcake, I'm sure you're going to be in to this embossing that's going to only last for one use. And that's okay. I like this. This is really adorable. Looks like Ace Beauté is releasing a palette. This is the Aura eyeshadow palette, which will be out on the 28th. I have not tried Ace Beauté since they reformulated and I did hear good things about the formula, but I'm really not interested in trying right now, but it's a cute palette. It's nice and grungy. It's got some, I call them mucusy shades, but you know, the little mustardy grungy shades at the bottom. But I'm going to pass on this. Juvia's Place has a new palette coming out. This is gonna be a limited edition palette called the Fula Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, you know what? I never go for Juvia's Place eyeshadows. There's nothing wrong with them. They are beautiful, but I never reach for those palettes. So I'm not even gonna play myself. The palette's only $10. So if you haven't tried Juvia's Place and you want to, the quality is good. I just know I don't ever go for the shadows. Even though it's only $10, it would be a $10 waste. So Melt is doing some brow products and I almost wanna try them because if you have seen Laura Oriano, who is one of the owners from Melt, her eyebrows, like her eyebrows are beautiful, but I will say that no matter what products I use, even if I buy this whole collection, my eyebrows are not going to look like hers. They are so thick and pretty and I love, she can use any makeup. It doesn't even matter. And it just always looks good. Even if it's a product from Melt that I don't particularly care for, she can make you want it. I could possibly give these a try maybe on sale they're not on sale for Black Friday or anything like that but I would consider it I'm pretty good with my brow routine but this will be something that I would consider in the future so let me know if you decided to try these out or if you're interested I love um, her brows though they're they look so good but she could use like a Sharpie and make them look good. You know what I mean? Like that that's a no for me now. Char's got some kissing lipstick in some new colors. And with me just purchasing from Lisa Eldridge, I really don't need any lip products. We have this palette from Inslee Rain Cosmetics. And I want to say this is the second palette that I've seen from them that I'm like, okay, like this looks kind of interesting. But the size of the palette is a bit large for me. So this palette is a no, as well as the last palette that they had, which was really earthy, a little grungy. And this one is called, let's see, the Cosmic Dreamer palette. And again, it, it's, it's nice, but I'm not gonna use this. So I'm just gonna be honest. It's $56, it's already available. Let me know if you've tried Inslee Rain. I'd be curious uh, to know your thoughts. We've got a Christmas teaser from Martine Cosmetics. You need to be. Just when I thought I wasn't gonna have to use the sound. Just when I thought. Is this, for what? For what? And now whatever it is, I'm not getting it. Cause, we have a Black Friday release here from Notoriously Morbid, and a couple of you did ask me, was I receiving this palette? They didn't have time to do PR for Black Friday. Uh, this is Mothman. I have no idea what Mothman is. I, I really don't. So please fill me in. I know I can look it up. So I don't know how I feel about like palettes that are like in the shape of things. I'm not sure about this. Now y'all know I love me some Notoriously Morbid. So as far as the color story and the shades and shadows and things like that, I'm sure they're beautiful, but I'm not sure if I could bring myself to purchase this palette. And I don't have enough of a connection to Mothman to really understand about what it is. So I am sorry. <laughs> and I know they also re-release the Catching the Naughty palette. Let me, here it is right here. I am gonna be revisiting this palette for one of my Christmas videos because I am going to be doing a series like a blast from holiday past. So just going back to 
previous year's holiday releases and using them and seeing how I still feel about them. Were they good releases? And I kind of think Catching the Naughty was a good one. Uh, that's gonna probably be the first one that I do. I really liked this palette a lot. So I'm happy to see that they are restocking this or that they did restock it. And this one was $49.99. This, this was a good palette really creative and it was Christmassy, but it still was notoriously morbid. So I enjoyed that one. All right, Cleona has this really cute holiday bundle and it's called the Stocking Stuffer Trio, tree skirt, timber, and tinsel. And they are $12 a piece during the Black Friday sale. $12 a piece. Mm, I don't know about that because I thought for Black Friday they were having five dollar circle shadows i don't know i really like this but the whole thing with cleona is when i order from them i have to make the shipping worth it because it's 15 dollars. so i i don't know i have not decided on anything right now and the first cleona's order that i did was for black friday last year or was it 2020? It might've been 2020 at this point. I'm thinking it was 2020. Yes, because I didn't get the shadows until 2021. Like February, it was, it was late because the mail was all messed up in 2020. But I don't think I'm gonna be getting these. I love the Cleona Circle shadows. I say it every time I use them, really underrated because people like the uh, stained glass, you know? And I get that. They also have some nail polishes, but yeah, all this is, is going to be a pass for now. Another palette from Ace Beauté. Sorry, I didn't keep those together. This one is the Envy Eyeshadow Palette. And again, this is kind of an interesting color story as well, but I am going to pass on this one too. This one is going to be available on the 28th at 12 p.m. CST. Let's see, skipping around. Do see some more Notoriously Morbid got some lip products here be perfect has a black friday bundle <sighs> uh, neutrals are kind of the thing right now but this is just a no sugar drizzle polish has some things out here hypernova this palette looks really cute but i am going to pass on that this other one is doing a lot what is this one? Oh, the glitter party palette mm -mm, nope and we don't need gloss or highlighter so moving on Ooh, are these new litany liners Ooh, okay i do like the notoriously morbid litany liners so five holiday shades are restocked i don't remember getting those last year but i'm sure i did and then there are three new shades look at the top like the top two, and then in the second row, the one on the left, those are really nice. But I'm like, do I wear liners like that? Slay Queen, mmm. Oh, for show. <laughs> and Sentimental, they, those three, those are very cute. Mm, kinda like those. Not Slay My Name, I can't. Why don't I remember seeing these last year? I gotta go through, I gotta look. Cause I remember getting a lot of stuff with that holiday collection last year. All right, let's move on. Those are no though for now. C Color Cosmetics has a Death Valley palette. Okay, this is a no. I, and these swatches, uh, the left side of those swatches are just not doing it for me. Kraken, Kraken Cosmetics? Uh, this is a no. Notoriously Morbid. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't keep all these together. We've got holiday highlighters and lip glosses and three slumber salves. Oh no, now I have these, I have these. I don't know about the slumber salves. Okay, and then we have the Black Friday code. So yeah, I have these. Cause I remember saying, ho, ho, hold the up. I remember saying that and saying, no, that's cute. I don't know about Holly Jolly though. I don't have Holly Jolly. All right, the point is, is I don't need any of that or highlighters. So we're gonna move on. Looks, he has the Spirits and Sparkles bundle. Nope. Makeup protection program, almost forgot to say it. So these are also by Inslee Rain Cosmetics. Some singles, $17 a piece. Ooh, Moon Shifter is nice. This is all a no. Bobby's trying to Okay, nope, not the Lunar New Year 2023. This is a no, just cause you being fast. M.M.M. Mitchell, no. 
got a lot of no's. No's across the board. What's this? Oh no, we don't have money for that. Dear Dahlia Beauty has these quads. Uh, no, Bitter Lace Beauty. Winter Wonderland highlighters. A new collection of icy white duochrome shades that color shift and bright lighting. Oh, these look pretty. They look really pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. But it's a pretty no. I'm gonna admire from afar. I really don't need any highlighters. And lately, I haven't been going for any blingy highlighters. So they're nice to look at, but I think that's all. Ooh, that last one is really pretty. I think that's all I'd be doing, to be honest, just looking at them. They're $25 each and they're in a 44 millimeter pan. So it's like a big one. That's gonna be it for Makeup Release Radar. And for everything that I've seen here, I mean, I feel like it's pretty much an all across the board except for the Croc palette, the Lethal palettes. I do like those. I feel good about this. Let me know what you think about these products. Let's just check out Trend Mood and a couple other sites just to see if we, you know, missed anything. What is this? It's a small world. No, not doing that, ColourPop. I'm just not doing it. Might have talked about this Juvia's Place palette or I might have skipped it. They've got this neutral palette out, the coffee shop collection, but it is gonna be a no. The lip glosses look nice as well, but nope, gonna pass on it all. Going over to Chic Profile Official, I'm not seeing anything here either. We are finished. Hello. What's wrong? You tired? I want to eat. You're not gonna give me the rice. And the oh, I said I'll give you something else. I'll just need five more minutes and I'm done, okay? You're not feeling good. Are you tired? I think you're tired. I think between traveling yesterday and I think playing all day today with River and everybody, I think you're really tired. Your tummy hurts? Oh, well, I think you might need to wait on eating. Would you like some soup? Yes, please. Okay, lay up on the bed and I'll get you some I soup. I want your phone <clears throat> because my app is dead. Please? I mean, you can take it in another room and look at it because I, I, Oh God, you okay? All right, I'll be right out. And then you wanna eat a whole bunch of stuff. So I did wanna share that when I did my Sephora haul from the holiday savings event, and I was talking about the Tom Ford quad, I ended up returning that. I think that if you have a quad and like with that Tom Ford Smoky Quartz one, like even if, if one shade doesn't show up as expensive as that palette is, it needs to go back because the lightest shade in the Smoky Quartz palette really wasn't showing up on my skin tone. It was just really close to it. So I was just like, nope, this has to go. And the other thing that I returned was the, I think it's called Apple Brandy from Killian. It was a travel size. Even that travel size, $45, if I'm not wearing it, it has to go. So I did wanna share that I returned those two items. And I think that, you know, this year I did really well with Black Friday. I just know all too well how easy it is to get tempted by all of these sales. And the other uh, brand that's really tempting me right now is Converse. This is another time when I shop Converse. So favorite brands, I love Adidas, Converse, Farm Rio. Those are like my top three. So Converse is having 40% off of sale stuff. And so this is a time where I kind of rack up, but like for the rest of the year, I won't buy anything from, from them. So looking outside of makeup, Black Friday sales, and then like Christmas and thinking about the boys and just coming back from vacation, I'm trying to like keep everything in perspective. Fortunately, I don't think a lot of the Black Friday sales are really great this year. And what I've been seeing is throughout the year, we have been seeing some really good sales. Now I will say with Pat McGrath, I haven't seen her do 40% off. I don't know what's going on with her brand, but this is the most I've seen her do for a discount. So I will say like, that's tempting if you wanna try Pat McGrath and you haven't. If you were looking for motherships, like you fit the mothership with a sale because this is a good one. I really thought that Black Friday was gonna be the time for me to like maybe get some indie singles, but I I'm just not into it. I don't think the sales are that great. I think it's because like in 2020, when I first got into the indie singles, I remember Tara Moons having like buy one, get one free. And that's how I got a lot of my Tara Moons shades. And I know things change. And I wanna say Cleona wasn't 10% off. 
I just want to say they had a higher percentage off. I, I might be wrong. Just knowing that I've had better sales. And then with, with Terra Moons, only certain shadows that they have are 25% off. And a lot of the ones that, that I wanted aren't. So I'm like, I'll just wait until all of the, the site is 25% off or more. You know what I mean? And they do have those sales throughout the year. So that's just another thing to, to keep in mind. You know, looking at Black Friday, I'm trying to think about things that don't usually go on sale that I can get. But a lot of things have been going on sale like crazy throughout the year. So I don't know if Black Friday is what it used to be. Let me know what you think about that. I feel kind of happy that I've been able to keep things in perspective this year and you know, goals with my life and my collection have kind of changed. Uh, just coming back from vacation this year and you know, wanting to try to plan something else to do with the boys. I, I'm kind of weighing my options, you know what I mean? And like thinking about what I'm really going to use. So anyway, I am rambling. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm glad we got to do this one as a premiere and that I get to chit chat and catch up with everybody and Marky's tooth. I have some tooth. So some who? Some tooth. Soup. Soup. Oh, I'll get you some soup. Let me say goodbye. You want to say goodbye with me? Yes. All right. Well, you guys, I'm going to go. I've got somebody that needs some soup. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. Are oh, you gonna come over here? All right. I like for my dinner. It's gonna make my stomach better. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another mimosas and makeup and hanging out with August and Marky too. I am doing Christmas this year. It is gonna start on December 1st through the 24th, and Mom, I'm trying to decide. Are you gonna be recording on December 1st? Oh, I will have a video for December. For, why? The sugar gliders? Yeah, I want to show them the sugar gliders. We will do that. So we are going to be babysitting sugar gliders this weekend. So I am sure you will see them in a video. And I'm really, really excited. What I was going to say is I might not have a video on Tuesday because I'm trying to like gear up for Christmas and try to like make sure I have everything planned out. So if you don't see me Tuesday, I will definitely see you Thursday. And then every day after that through Christmas Eve. So I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. I'm really excited to hang out with you all through December for a third Christmas. So yes, I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And you're going to like that video too. A thousand likes. All right. Because you're going to see real life animals. Okay. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay and safe. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.